What's up guys, today we're talking about the easiest and quickest way to edit slow motion footage in Final Cut Pro. Let's go. Welcome back everyone, my name is Dustin Harrelson and here I make short tutorials to help you edit quicker, better, and smoother, and I also make videos on how to help you get video, photo, creative, work, get paid. Anyway, today we're talking about my process of editing slow motion video in Final Cut Pro. I've made a super quick process. I'm gonna take you through it step by step. I'm gonna stop wasting your time. Let's jump into the computer. All right, let's go. I already imported my footage in the space saving way that we talked about in the other video. You can check out right here. And there's one thing we have to do before we start this process. So step one is we're gonna come up here to where it says Final Cut Pro, hit commands and hit customize. So we have to set these key commands that I personally use to do this very quickly. So the first thing that we're gonna do is come up here in the search and we're gonna type silent and an option for set volume to silence will come up. So I like to have this set on S because that just kind of makes sense to me. So I like to set this on command S. So that means anytime I click a clip and hit command S, it's gonna silence, take all the volume out. The other key shortcut we need to set, we're gonna come up here and search automatic. So automatic speed, and what this does will be explained in a minute. I like to set this on shift A, we can hit save. Let's jump in to actually doing the process. Okay, so the video that I'm using for this process is shot in 60 frames per second. So we're gonna select the part of the video that we want to turn to slow motion. And I came in and found this right here. And then we're gonna hit Q, and it's gonna add it to our timeline. And then like we talked about, we don't want volume, right? So command S, and then we want it slow, so shift A. Basically, hitting Command A makes Final Cut take your 60 frames per second and make it as slow and smooth as possible for you so it looks awesome. That is how I edit all my B-roll in slow motion because in the end, I'm gonna have a lot, a lot of clips that are actually used in slow motion, like this timeline right here. Not all of these are slow motion, but when you get through and you use those key shortcuts, it makes making a project this many slow motion videos go a lot, a lot faster than clicking, right clicking, clicking automatic speed, dragging the volume down. All right, everybody, I really hope this makes editing less frustrating and more fun for you. If you got something out of this, hit like down below. That really, really helps me out. If you use slow-mo a lot, or if you don't, tell me why or why not in the comments, because I have heard some arguments against it, say that we use it too much. Let me know down there what you think. If you want to see more tutorials, hit subscribe, hit the bell. Y'all are awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye.